Welcome to Studio 9. I'm your host, Robert Bettis. This is positive and sometimes terrifying Southwest living. Today, we're going to the Reagan in downtown El Paso for a real life ghost investigation. I'm not going in to the ghost area. I'm going to send Evelyn Sandoval and Gustavo Martinez, our top-notch production crew for Studio 9, to investigate and the evidence they uncover. Chilling. Uh, there was a fire that destroyed most of the building. Uh, it was a two-story building before, now it's a one-story building and that's because of the fire in 1942. And uh, during that fire, one person died. He, was a, he worked at the post office down the street and uh, his name, his last name was Snowden and he, he perished in the fire and we're fairly certain he was on the second floor. And the fact that we're right next to a very haunted building that has some pretty nefarious things going on, uh, there is a pretty good chance it could leak over. Uh, we did make contact one time with a, uh, a little girl named Annie. And uh, so we could see if she's around. And she, she told us that, that the little girl next door, Sarah, would come over and she didn't like Sarah. Uh, the downstairs area, the basement area, was also pretty active. Uh, the people next door would complain of, of not wanting to go into the basement. Uh, because uh, of the uh, uh, semi-aggressive shadows that would follow them around. Scratches, people do get scratched, people have been scratched here. We started it about two years ago and it pretty much was a nightmare to build. Anything that could go wrong did go wrong, especially in the basement, I think. We had a terrible experience. Behind a rotting wall um, that we needed to replace because it just had like a terrible pungent smell on it so when we ripped that wall out apart we found a room back there it turns out it's a tunnel right now we're using it as a wine cellar but uh it's pretty terrifying in that room kind of feels like there's a monster that's not friendly and just hanging out in the corners downstairs in the office and especially in that wine cellar or that that room especially in that room so there's this corner right there oh. and that's where you always feel like some type of monster so you put the joker there and just good to make it feel better i have a friend named beto and when we were building this we kind of told him some of the stories that we had heard so he went downstairs by himself and he kind of like just uh, spooked himself out. He said that he felt somebody just grab him, like they didn't release him, he took off running and pretty much hasn't, hasn't been down there since, you know? So I personally have never felt anybody touch me or any physical force, but I have felt like somebody like following me around or like a shadow, especially in the dark. It was you know, like kind of playing hide and seek with me or something like that, you know, I can't, it's kind of hard to explain, but you definitely see like, a, I don't know if it's your mind playing tricks on you, but you definitely see like either like traces of something or like, I don't know, you know, like Peter Pan's shadow just play, uh, playing with you. That's kind of uh, what I can explain what it's like downstairs. I don't like being in this corner. There is a bunch of anti-God stuff written yeah. on these walls. Were you touching me right now? No. Did you just get touched? I didn't. I swear I didn't touch you. 